introduce our next speaker here. She's riding with me to DC today. Oh. Right. Uh, right. Uh, right. <laughs> Heather is our deputy, uh, deputy of foreign <laughs> affairs, uh, deputy, veterans, commissioner. deputy commissioner of, for, of veterans <laughs> affairs. Uh, she also is Kentucky's 2000 Miss America, uh, our USA's 2000 Miss America, and she's always in our heart. Her platform was homeless veterans, and uh, Heather's got a few words to say, and you don't have to go with me, but Cheryl will get mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say, it's indeed a pleasure to be with you all today. Um, I may have had a lot of titles in my life, but my favorite title is the daughter of a Vietnam veteran. My dad served in the 3rd Battalion, 1st Marine Corps Division and Kilo Company in Vietnam. This memorial is so important to us as Kentuckians, but personally as a daughter of a veteran, my dad's best friend, Charles Smith, is on this memorial. He's also on Panel 40E of the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C. My dad's best friend died two months after my dad was wounded on December 27, 1967. My dad came home and for 40 years did not know what happened to Charlie. He didn't want to know what happened to Charlie. He barely talked about Charlie, although he would mention him from time to time. So on one of my many trips to D.C. to get some work done, I went to the book, which is in alphabetical order, even though the wall is in chronological order. And I looked under Charlie Smith, and of course, Charlie Smith is a very common name, and there are a number of them, but there was only one from Louisville, Kentucky, Charles A. Smith. I called my father from the wall when I found Charles' panel. I took a picture of it, and my dad broke down on the other side of the phone. That was a moment of grief, but it was a moment of healing, because my dad needed to know what happened to his best friend. He had carried that guilt for 40 years to the day that I told him that Charlie had died. But you know, there's always a silver lining to every cloud, a silver lining to every memory that we have of those who fell. I was at a luncheon a couple years after that, and a lady comes up to me and she said, I have pictures of your dad in Vietnam. And I thought, there's no way you have pictures of my dad. I'm not from Louisville, I'm from a little town in Augusta, Maysville. And she said, you don't understand, my brother was Charlie Smith. And she said, I would like to introduce you to Charlie Smith Jr., Charlie's son. And so to this day, they have become great friends. And every time I'm at the wall, I take a picture of Charlie's name and I text it to Charlie Smith Jr. because I want him to know that none of those names and none of those who serve will ever be forgotten. Not just because he was a Marine, not just because he was in the Army, not just because he's in the Air Force or the Coast Guard or the Navy, but because of his individual story of serving our country and the struggle of leaving a family behind, paying the ultimate sacrifice. We have to remember everyone who served and everyone who didn't come home. Here in Kentucky, we have 14 of, of our heroes that are still unaccounted for. That's why you ride. You get up to D.C. You make our country accountable for all of those who serve, not just the ones who come home, but the ones who are still missing in action, who still are prisoners, maybe not alive today, but they're prisoners in our hearts and our memories, and their names are etched on that wall. So I want you to know there are going to be a lot of us praying for you today as you embark upon this journey, this ride to the wall. Those who are also stopping in Raynell, where I have been before. For eight years, I have ridden with you to the wall. I have been in Pentagon parking lot. I have made that procession from Pentagon to the wall and have stood in front of that wall and held some of you all while you cried. So as your daughter, I want you to know we are proud to be your daughters. We are proud of you. You make us proud to be Americans. So thank you for your sacrifice and service, and welcome home. Yeah. Yeah.